माई सेल्फ सुनील कल शेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द स्टेप ऑफ चॉपर लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स कैन एनालाइज स्टेप ऑफ चॉपर दिस इज द बेसिक अरेंजमेंट ऑफ स्टेप ऑफ चॉपर द डॉटेड रेक्टेंगुलर रिप्रेजेंट्स द चॉपर स्विच विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ पावर डिवाइस विथ इंटरनल फायरिंग सर्किट प्लस कम्यूटेशन सर्किट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बुस्ट कन्वर्टर इट इज अ डी सी टू डी सी पावर कन्वर्टर विथ एन आउटपुट वोल्टेज ग्रेटर दैन इट्स इनपुट वोल्टेज इट इज अ क्लास ऑफ एस एम पी एस स्विचड मोड पावर सप्लाय कंटेनिंग एट लीस्ट टू सेमी कंडक्टर स्विचेस डायोड एंड ट्रांजिस्टर एंड एट लीस्ट वन इनर्जी स्टोरेज एलिमेंट कैपेसिटर और इंडक्टर और द टू कॉम्बिनेशन बुश कन्वर्टर इज ऑल्सो यूज्ड एज द वोल्टेज इंक्रीज मैकेनिज्म इन द सर्किट फॉर अ स्टेप ऑफ चॉपर वी कैन ऑप्टेन एन एवरेज आउटपुट वोल्टेज वी जीरो ग्रेटर दैन इनपुट वोल्टेज स्टेप ऑफ चॉपर इज यूज टू ऑप्टेन अ लोड वोल्टेज हाइयर दैन इनपुट वोल्टेज वी The values of L and C are chosen depending upon the requirement of output voltage and current. When the chopper is on, the inductor L is connected in series with supply. The inductor current I rises, and the inductor stores energy during the on time, and this on time is denoted as a T on. When the chopper is off, the inductor current I forced. to flow through the diode d and load for the period t off the current tends to decrease resulting in reversing the polarity of induced emf in the inductor therefore the voltage across load is given by v0 is equal to vs plus l di by dt where vs is the input voltage and the voltage across inductor is l di by dt That is V zero is greater than V s. That's why the circuitry acts as a step up chopper, and in this chopper, output voltage is greater than input voltage. A large capacitor is connected across the load, will provide the continuous output voltage. Diode D prevents any current flow from a capacitor to the source. Operating principle. The key principle. that drives the bush converter is the tendency of an inductor to resist changes in current mode 1 t on time when the switch is closed the current flows through the inductor in the clockwise direction and inductor stores the energy in this duration the current flows through the input voltage source l chopper switch and these are the polarity of inductor and in this t on the the energy is stored in the l the polarity of the left side of the inductor is positive this is the circuit diagram for the mode 1 the switch is closed mode 2 off state when the switch is opened the current will be reduced as the impedance is higher therefore the change or reduction in current will be opposed by the inductor thus the polarity will be reversed means left side of inductor will be negative and right side will be positive as a result two sources will be in series causing higher voltage to charge the capacitor through the diode d in this duration chopper switch is in non contacting state therefore current flows through the input input voltage source l d load and the polarity of inductor is like this right side is positive left side is negative here the switch is open and the only path offered to inductor current is through the flyback diode d and the capacitor c and the load this is the circuit diagram for the mode 2 when switch is open when the chopper is on the voltage across inductor is given by vl is equal to ldi by dt and in this duration 
the Vs is appears across the VL. Therefore, Vs is equal to VL is equal to L dis by dt. And the duration of t is greater than 0, less than t1. Here, here di is the change in current, i max to i min. Therefore, Vs is equal to L i max minus i min divided by t1 is equal to L delta i upon t1. Therefore, delta i is equal to Vs upon L into t1. When the chopper is off, that is, switch S is open, the instantaneous output voltage is Vl is equal to Vs plus L dil by dt. For Vs plus L dis by dt. Now, delta i is equal to Vs upon L into t1. Here, Vs plus L delta i upon t of. So, substitute the value of delta i from the previous equation. Therefore, equation becomes Vl is equal to Vs into bracket 1 plus t1 upon t of. Now, divide numerator and denominator by capital T. And after solving this, we obtain Vl is equal to Vs into bracket 1 upon 1 minus k. From the equation, it is clear that for k is less than 1, load voltage is greater than supply voltage and the circuit acts as a step of chopper. If k is equal to 0, Vl is equal to Vs and k is equal to 1, Vl is equal to infinity. Equation for minimum and maximum current. Assuming L is large enough and the on time and off time are small enough to maintain linear rise and fall of current. The current waveform is as shown in figure. Now, during T1, current I rises gradually. The, the current increases from I min to I max and this current is denoted as a I1. And during T of, I decreases and this current is denoted as a I2. Mode 1. When the chopper is on, the equivalent circuit is as shown above. And the voltage equation can be written as Vs is equal to L di1 by dt. Therefore, the rate of rise of current di1 by dt is equal to Vs upon L. Therefore, di1 is equal to Vs upon L into dt. Referring to waveform, the current can be expressed as I1 of t is equal to Vs of Vs upon L into t plus I min, where I min is the initial current at t is equal to 0. At t is equal to kt, I1 of t is equal to I max. Therefore, I1 is equal to Vs upon L into kt plus I min. This current is denoted as a I max. Therefore, I max minus I min is equal to delta I is equal to Vs upon L into kt. During mode 1, current must rise and for that di1 by dt must be greater than 0 and the Vs must be greater than 0. Mode 2. When the chopper is off, the equivalent circuit is as shown above. The voltage equation can be written as Vs plus L di2 by dt is equal to Vl. Now, during T of assuming linear fall in current and the equation can be expressed as I2 of T is equal to I max minus delta I upon T of into T. At T is equal to T of, I2 of T is equal to I min. Therefore, I2 of T is equal to I max minus delta I is equal to I min. Why step up chopper is called as a boost converter? In this converter, V0 is equal to Vs plus L di by dt and output is greater than the input. That's why the name is the step up chopper or boost converter. Chopper control techniques. The operation of chopper can be classified in the following two ways time ratio control and current limit control. Time ratio control 
can be divided into types constant frequency system and variable frequency system now in the time ratio control average output voltage of chopper is given by v average is equal to k into vs where k is the t1 upon t output voltage can be varied either by varying t1 with constant f by varying f with constant t1 in the constant frequency system t1 is varied either keeping the f or capital t constant and and the pulse width the changes that's why it is also called as a pulse width modulation control and in the variable frequency system t1 or t of kept constant vary the f that's why the name is the variable frequency system in the current limit control the output current is allowed to vary only between the predetermined maximum and minimum limit if load current tends to increase beyond the maximum limit thyristor is turned off and if the load current tends to fall below the minimum limit thyristor is turned on since chopper operates between i max and i min and the current is continuous the switching frequency is determined by difference between i max and i min if the difference is large switching frequency is less and if the difference is small switching frequency is large resulting higher switching losses these are the waveforms for current limit control these are the references thank you